Before we take the covers off this, I just want to mention the D-Type. You know, it's a beautiful car. This is a short nose, of course. And, you know, nothing specific about that relative to this, but more about the design of it, because it's always fascinated me, this car. It's born out of an era when aerodynamics were deemed to be very fluid looking and very soft and air would flow around the car in a very kind of natural way. The reality is not quite like that actually, but in the days when uh, Malcolm Sayre designed this, that's exactly what he thought. When you work out the structure of how that comes together visually, you can start to understand how a Jaguar is designed. Let's have a look at uh, Project 7. So the first thing you'll see is the air dam at the front. It's quite different from the original one. It was quite bigger. It's quite, so quite a bit bigger. And uh, it really has been tested in the tunnel. As you come through the car, you get the side skirts, which really do replicate the side skirts that we did in the car. They're a little bit wider. And again, they do help the downforce and the aerodynamics, the stability of the car. Um, the most notable part is the screen itself. It is lower than the standard screen. It's 140 millimeters lower down the surface of the glass which equates to about 30 or 40 millimetres in height. And then, of course, you get to the back, you've got this lovely fairing, which is clearly reminiscent of the D-type. The rear spoiler, again, has been re-engineered, redesigned in the wind tunnel to effectively get the right downforce to give this car the stability and downforce it needs. And of course, the front and rear have to work in unison with each other. Inside the car, special lighter weight seats that were designed for the car. You sit slightly lower in it as well, incidentally, if you choose to. Um, and the trim itself has got our Jaguar um, monogram stitched into it uh, to give something quite individual. The stripes, I felt it was very important that these stripes and the colour scheme stayed on the car. We did debate whether we should take them off or not, but it's very much part of the character. It does display something that's very much a performance car, including the roundels. And something I really enjoy in it, is, in this car, as the, as the D-Type did, is the fact the roundel just slips up onto the surface here. The car will come in five colours. The wheels, always black, and of course with the, uh, the yellow calipers for the uh, carbon ceramic brakes. I love this car. It's, it's rebellious. It makes a statement. It shows you what you can do if you put a bit of imagination to something. And I think with John's new department, we're going to do a lot more stuff like this. But this is the first of a great journey for us. And uh, as I say, I'm very proud of it. The team are very proud of it. It's my kind of car. I love this car. And uh, I think there'll be another 250 people out there that love it as well. So. Have a look around it, wander around it, and uh, let me know what you think. Thank you for listening. <laughs>